So have you ever wanted to create the visualization that I have behind me? I'm going to show you how into this video. Let's get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, for this visualization, we're going to use the Fred Economic Data, um, the price index in US dollars, so producing power in US dollar through years, decades. And uh, let's go back to Power BI. This is the result. So I tried to do this using the out-of-the-box visuals. Unfortunately, all the methods I tried, there were features missing that does not allow to do it. At least I couldn't figure it out. But I've done it before with Charticular and it's easy. So let me show you how to do it. So this is what we're going to do. Start a new tab. We're going to put in date and the price index. And then I've created an inverse price index, which is basically I calculated what the max price index is and I subtracted for the current price index. Let me put it in here and visualize it for you so you can actually see what I mean. You see the blue part is the one that is going to be the dollar bill. The lila part is going to be the inverse, right? And this that part we're going to paint in paint in white so the other one is shown let me show you okay so charticulator make sure you download charticulator every time because you know it updates fairly frequently and then go to edit i've already done it that's why i'm not doing it again and then make sure that you put in all your values in there and the first thing that we're going to do is to put a date into the x-axis, right? These are all the dates. So it's from 1930s to, to the 2020s. So, so as you can see, there's a ton. We, uh, we don't want to see those. So get rid of those. And then what we're going to do is to have a bar chart for every single year, right? The price index. And there, instead of having the car the price index, the, the current one, we're going to have the inverse. So I'm going to drop in the inverse into height. And as you can see, it's not looking the same because it's not being sorted properly. Let's give it a whirl. You know, if you sometimes see that what you are doing is not showing, just click save because it's, it feels like Sometimes, you know, Charticular gets stuck somehow. So save, it seems like it refreshes. So as you can see, and that's what one of the problems that I have with the custom visuals, with the out-of-the-box visuals, is that this has given us the inverse from the bottom. And this is not exactly what we want. We want to have that on the top. And you can do that with, part, with Charticulator, actually. So you can go in there. And instead of having it in the bottom axis, you can put it on the top, and then suddenly we have the shape that we want. If you now put these and make the width of the um, rectangles wider to make sure that there are no whites in between, because we want to block everything there. So I'm going to make it 10, I think it's enough. You see how it gets very opaque? And then we're going to make this white. I made my blue because it had a blue uh, background, but you can make it any color you want. Now, we're going to put the image in there as the background. So go there, image. I actually downloaded a dollar bill and then with Photoshop, I gave it this greenish green. So it actually has a nice contract with the background otherwise you won't be able to see it and then we're going to adjust the size of this a little bit we will have to adjust a little bit more later but for now and now we need to put it in the back and you see the effects comes right away so neat so there you go um what else we need to have the um, axis right and you cannot use this as an axis there are where there is no possibility to have ticks you know sometimes you can say i want to have just every 10 years tick or something it's not possible here but i've actually created let me show you a decade um, column in power bi actually in power query so now we know which 
decade each date is. So I'm going to add it to our visualization. There, it's already there, beautiful. And we're going to have now a visual on top of a visual. So we're going to create a new glyph, which is basically a new visualization on top of the other one or on the back as you like. And then we're going to create where the segment is going to be, what our where our graph is going to be. And I'm going to drag decade into the axis you can see here. I don't want to have it as number actually. I want to have it as text. So I can redo that. So I don't get the thousand, the comma. And then I can go to the style, I think it's called. And I don't want the tick line. So now the next is we're going to have the CPI as the x-axis, right? We don't want to have the inverse one. We just want to have the real one. Mush it in a little bit. So, and now I want to have a dollar sign in there. So for that, you go to here the y-axis and then on, 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 I need to remove style obviously. I think it's here on tick format. You are going to do this comma for European comma decimal, otherwise you don't need to have that. And then zero F, it means no decimals. And then it will have the dollar sign, which is exactly what we wanted. Beautiful. And now, last but not least, I saw some of the visualizations online had like events that showed like what happened on that specific um, time period, like as you can see in here. You see all that? So I actually created, I created a table called events and added to my table. Uh, let me put this a little bit bigger. Starts to look the same. And now we're going to go edit. I'm going to put event in there. This is just, a, again, I'll, I'll show you so you can see it. So event is just... So event is just certain years, adding a little bit of text saying what happened then and what could have caused an increase or decrease into our chart. Uh, so I'm going to go back to edit. And do you know sometimes when Charticulator is completely white. If you just go to another page and go back, it refreshes and yeah, comes back to life. Um, okay, so we're going to be on plot segment two, on the one that has the axis, the, the, the decade axis, and then we're going to draw a circle. And as you can see, it's showing us obviously a circle for each year, and we don't want that. So holding shift and then hold event and drop in invisibility. And then just, you just want to see a circle where there is an event. And then you can see that you only see those, which is quite neat. Then we're going to have a stroke and this is going to be white and the stroke a little bit bigger, maybe. So now we have our circle. I don't know how neat that is. So, and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a text box. Put it in there. I'm going to put the event into the text box and then it just shows you the events on each year. And there you have it. So now, as you can see, it does not fit as perfectly as mine does. Let me show you, as this one does. And it's just because the image size and the size of the 
visual is not aligned. So the size of the visual at the moment is a little bit bigger than the actual image itself. That's where you get a gap. So you need to tinker with that a little bit to make it fit best possible. And uh, you need to go back and forth until you actually find what exact measures is, you see. So now we need to make it a little bit, but you can play with that yourself. So this is how you create an image with a background and put in some events and yeah, make it look cool and useful. So if you haven't given Charticular a go, I really recommend you to do it because it is a fantastic tool. It, it has a little bit of bugs here and there, but what you can do with it is just freaking amazing. So I will see you again on Thursday. Until then, take care.